Have you been wanting to sell your services online? Well, let me show you how with JotForm's newest feature, JotForm Store Builder. Hey, JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And like I mentioned, if you offer services for your clients, JotForm is the perfect way to do that with Store Builder because you don't have to have any coding knowledge necessary. So for this example, I'm going to kind of take the path of a wedding photographer or any type of photography business. Uh, so I'm already in my JotForm dashboard. We're gonna go up to the top left corner. We're gonna click on My Forms, then we're gonna head to My Apps. Then from here, again, top left corner, the purple create app button. And now we have four different choices. We can either start from scratch, use a template, clone an existing app if we already have one started, or we can choose to build store. Now the most logical thing to do is to click on build store. So let me show you what that looks like, but we're actually going to be using the use template option. So if we click on build store, it's basically going to start us from scratch but it's already going to have the product list chosen for us. And that is what makes it the store builder. So you can kind of see it here. Let's go over to the left-hand side where it says add element. We can see the product list right down here. We can see where it says new in green. But again, this is what it looks like from build store. My favorite way is to go through using a template because that gets my creative juices flowing. So let's give that a try. Create an app, use a template. And I'm just going to search for photographer. And so we can see that we have a booking app and then we also have, you know, release app. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the photography booking app. So let's take a quick scroll to see what this looks like. It looks like we have a couple of forms to request a photographer and to schedule a photo shoot. So that's physically picking a time. looks like we have a little gallery photo and then we have another page with just a gallery. So there's no place for services. Let's go ahead and do that. Down at the bottom, I'm going to click on add a page and I'm going to rename this page to be services. I'm going to click on add an element and then I'm going to choose our product list. And now you can see with it chosen, we have the three options on the side. We have the product settings, then we have the store settings, and then we can delete this product list altogether. I'm going to go ahead up to the product settings and I'm gonna go ahead and click on the gear and get rid of this one. So that way we can just start from scratch. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and change this to services. So let's go ahead and add one. So the kind of way that I'm thinking about this is kind of like a bronze, silver, gold, platinum package. So I'm gonna make a platinum package just for this example. And we'll say that this platinum package is a dollar just for this example. And then right here in the description, this is where you're gonna put what that platinum package looks like. How many pictures can they expect? What's the time limit? Any outfit changes? What does your package look like in the description? If you have any images, you can choose to add them here, but I am going to go back up to the top. We're going to click on options and this is where we can add things like quantity selectors and product options. So let me give you an idea of what that looks like just in case you do want to use that. So the quantity selector will let people choose more than one of that specific package. So I'm not gonna choose that for this. I'm gonna go back and then because I chose it, it put it on there, I'm gonna go ahead and delete it. Next we have add a product option. Now this is helpful if you have a service that has other like smaller options within a larger option. Now, maybe for this could be like a time of day that you're wanting to shoot for. And here we can do morning, midday and evening and night. Okay, good deal. I'm gonna go ahead and go back. So now we have four different time options for the time of day. So next up, we need to add our payment gateway for people to be able to pay us. So when you don't have the element selected, like here, it's not selected. The store settings are not going to be there. They're going to be up in the top right-hand corner, right over here. So you can either choose it from here or you can choose the element and choose it here. They're both the same place. So either way is fine. So I'm going to go ahead and click on add payment integration, and then you get to choose how you want people to be able to pay you. I'm going to choose square and connect to square. Good deal. And then I can also show Apple pay and Google pay. We'll go ahead and save this. And over on the right hand side, if we scroll down, if we want to turn on any of these like shipping address, billing address, you'll definitely want to do that. For this example, I'm going ahead and leaving them off, but let's go to publish and let's see what this looks like. Let's go ahead and fill this out. So I remember we added a new page. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on services. 
And here is our one service that we created. So people can also favorite services or products that you have. But I'm gonna go ahead and click on the platinum and I can choose my time of day, midday, evening, night. Perfect, and I'm gonna go ahead and add it to the cart. So from here, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go up to my cart. And we can see that we have the one platinum. If we want to see our favorites, we can. We can see that we have favorited uh, the platinum and it also tells us that it's already in our cart. If it wasn't, we would have another button that says add to cart. Go back to order summary, let's go ahead and continue. And it pre-populated my information for me, which is perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and click proceed to pay. And I'm gonna choose my credit card, then order $1. And as a consumer, if I want to look at my previous purchases, I can see it from here. I can click on this previous orders button and it's pretty much going to take me to my back office for your app. And that way I can see my order on the left hand side over here. I can see all of my past orders with you. So for some reason, I don't click on that button and I want to see my order history or anything about my order. All I have to do is go back to your app. So it would look like this over in the top right corner. I see my little profile picture, my avatar. If I click on previous orders, it brings me back to that same place for me to see. Now, one last thing I want to show you is let's go back to the builder. And instead of the app builder, I'm going to head over to tables. This is going to be where all of your orders are going to land. So we can see that Kimberly ordered the Platinum package on the photography booking app. And there's some other things in here that you can either add or you can even remove if you would like to. But let's say that you are doing this and you have a virtual assistant and you have a team that is gonna be managing a lot of this for you. The really nice thing is you can add columns in the tables and also connect it in other ways. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you real quick. I'm gonna add a column. We can add a button and we can send another email. So even though they probably received an email with their confirmation that they made a purchase, you can also have something else set up here. Uh, you can create another email as a thank you or maybe something else after that confirmation. But just for this example, I'm gonna click here so we can go ahead and create the column. We can see here, so as soon as you get that, you can click the send email button. It'll automatically send that pre-populated email. And again, let's say that you're working with a team and you need to send this data other places for them to handle and take care of things. I'm gonna go ahead and choose the buttons, send data to other apps. We're gonna call this send data. You can also call this where you're sending it. And you have options for all of these places like Slack, Monday, ClickUp. So you can connect your account and you can automatically push the data there. And it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about creating your own no-code store builder within JotForm, please let us know and I'll see you next time.